Anson Huey and his young family are just settling into their new home. It's been a few days since they moved in. It's pretty awesome, pretty big. I like it a lot. <laughs> I love it. They've been waiting for a home like this for the past two years. But I kind of miss my family when I was over there, huh? Because I got kids here, and uh, I'm happy to be home. Chief Leo Friday is pleased with the new units as well. They look pretty awesome. Pretty nice. According to Chief Friday, the Hueys are one of 560 long-term evacuees whose lives were turned upside down in 2014 when their original homes here were condemned due to spring flooding. Many evacuees have been temporarily housed in Kappas casing. As a way to combat the consistent problems of mold in the flood-prone community, the new homes are built without a crawl space or basement. We're trying to do something this year to make that uh, crawl space open and we're trying to put an extra eat on the water line so it won't freeze and we'll see what happens this winter. The total cost for all of this construction, including delivery on barges and over the ice roads, is approximately $50 million. A lot of money, says Huey, but sure, worth yeah. every cent. What's special about this place to you? Uh, like raising my kids for sure. <laughs> So far, five families have moved back home. Four more are expected to arrive over the weekend, and if all goes well, all 104 units will be occupied by next September. And at Francis APTN National News, Kishetuan, First Nation.